Keith here, physical therapist, back again with another video. This time we're going to be talking about back pain. And this is something that affects a large uh, portion of the population. So hopefully this video helps some of you. Um, in this video, I'm going to try to keep it as simple and as short as possible. We're going to be talking about three movements that you can do to help relieve your back pain today. Let's get into it. All right. So first thing is going to be knee rocks. Now this exercise is very simple. Um, it pur its purpose is to promote mobility of the lumbar spine, relieve stiffness slash tension in that lumbar spine, and we want to breathe into resistance. That is a cue. Breathe into resistance. So let's talk about. Well, let's watch the video, and I'll I'll show you what I mean by that cue. Very simple exercise. Um, as you can see, we are starting in a supine position, um, completely flat on our back. And now my feet are um, about hip width apart. If you want maximum lumbar rotation, I would keep my feet together, keep my knees together. Whenever the knees are apart, how mine are right now, you'll get more, well, not more, but you'll get uh, hip internal and external rotation added into it so uh don't worry about that stuff right now that's that's extra it's it's raining outside if you can hear that but knees together okay and all we're doing is we're rocking those knees back and forth going as far as you can and what i mean by breathing to the resistance is if you get to a point when you feel like it is stiffer simply stay there and take some deep breaths and just breathe into that resistance, okay? Now, a progression to this, as I'm gonna do in a moment, um, you can extend one of the legs. Right now, I think I'm gonna do it. Yep, okay, so knee, hip is ex and knee is extended, and we're just gonna rotate. Now, one thing, you wanna try your best to keep your shoulders flat on the ground. Um, as you can see, I, I could I, I could do this myself. I need some need some work on this myself. But you want to keep the shoulders flat on the ground, and um, you let the weight of the leg really rotate that lumbar spine. And same thing, breathing to that resistance. If the left leg feels stiffer than when the right leg goes over, then let the left leg sit there for a little bit longer. Take some deep breaths and allow that tension to kind of alleviate itself. Okay, so next we're gonna go to knees to chest. Now, this is going to promote uh, mobility in the sagittal plane. The sagittal plane is if you took an arrow and you went straight out through your chest, um, that is the sagittal plane, okay? And that's what we're talking about here. Um, and you may also feel a stretch in the gluteal musculature and that's your butt. So let's look at what this is. Now. There's two ways you can do this. I'm going to display them both here in the video. Basically, you're taking the knee to the chest and you're kind of oscillating it. You can just do a static hold. In the video, I'm kind of oscillating it. Um, and basically what that means is you take it to end range and you kind of, kind of balance a little bit. Here's the progression. Both knees go into the actual chest. And you'll feel... Um, that this is quite alleviating for some folks back pain let's watch that video again so you can kind of see it one more time um doing it um alternating one leg at a time or bilateral both legs at a time either or is going to be sufficient uh, i typically get more relief doing both at the same time it just feels a little bit better on that low back so there's that. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I forgot to put a title in here. I'll add that. Um, this is actually called Cobra Pose. Okay, and um, I wonder if I can I can write on it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Pin. So this is called. Cobra pose. 
This is a yoga move. Um, essentially, this is promoting lumbar extension. You know, it's going to stretch the abdominals and the hip flexors. So it's going to be your abs and the muscles in front of the hips. Um, we spend a lot of time as humans in a flex position. We're bent forward. Um, this just takes the spine and goes in the opposite direction. So we're going to be extending the spine or bending it backwards. So let's watch the video. Okay, I want to get off of that. No. How do I stop this? Okay, there we go. All right, so we're here. Now, one way, this is what I'd recommend. If your back is stiff, pretty stiff, start on the elbows, very gentle. We're just pushing up and coming back down. You can sit in that position or pressing up, kind of holding it, feeling that stretch, coming back down. As a progression, you can fully extend the arms as I'm doing here. This is going to fully extend that back to maximum capacity or as long as your arms are. Um, a way that you can progress this if this isn't far enough is you could put blocks underneath your hands, which is gonna elevate your more, just keep those hips on the ground. And that's what you want. You're trying your best to keep the hips on the ground um, so that all the motion is coming from the lumbar spine. So down here, we want all this to be bending. And um, so that's it. That's all I got. Those are the three exercises. Very, very simple. Um, if you have any questions, please, please don't don't hesitate to reach out. Drop a comment. Um, so let's get into a few things that I just want you to be aware of. If you have any sort of disc issues or any disc pathology um, and you're doing, this is more for like that knees to chest exercise. What can happen is you can actually start to protrude that disc and you could have... Um, pressure being put on that nerve um, going through that canal so and this is why I said stop if if felt stop if pain that's a typo wow stop if pain is going down you, the the leg like if you're getting ridiculous symptoms you're getting sharp pains um, going down the leg back off of this you're you're pushing on a nerve at that point. Um, if you have any sort of spinal fusion, the benefits may not be as great because the spine is fixed. Um, you're not getting any sort of segmental motion of that lumbar spine. So if these are two vertebrae, this is how a normal vertebrae would work on each other. They twist, blah, blah, blah. And if it is fixed, well, now these are one unit. They're just gonna move together. So the 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 benefit that you get won't be as great also if you've had recent surgery i would be aware uh very you very much so need to be abiding by your precautions um just to be safe as far as pain goes if it's achy if it's dull typically that's okay uh, but if you start feeling any sort of sharp or shooting pains that's when you want to back off that's that's too intense and uh, something may be getting pinched, something may be getting pulled, compression on something that is not liking it. So listen to your body. Um, but for the majority of the population, these exercises are going to be pretty safe. Um, but anyway, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far in the video, I thank you so much. Um, and just... This is the part that no one actually cares about besides people like me. Um, but the epidemiology of low back pain, it's one of the greatest um, conditions worldwide that affect people. Um, it's, it's one of the things that a lot of people go to rehab for, uh, and that's low back pain. And it's a very tricky thing to actually treat because uh, it can present in many different cases in many different ways so if you have low back pain i would recommend especially if it's not going away i would recommend reaching out to a healthcare professional uh to get some guidance and here's a reference that i got from the world health organization regarding those statistics and that is all thank you